Hey guys, Brian and Ari here from 5 to Go, coming to you from kind of a special location. It is. Kind of. This is very close to our house. Mm -hmm. We are in Fountain, Colorado at TransWest Truck, Trailer, and RV. These guys sell everything from like horse trailers and utility trailers all the way up to like million Super dollar fancy. diesel pusher coaches <laughs> and and I think they even have like uh, big like mat trucks and stuff. So mm -hmm. And Super C's. So they have yeah. kind of everything. But we are here to check out this new Mar. Bay Star 3414, mm -hmm. and uh, it's not a bunk model. There's also no bed over the cab. But it has something pretty special. But it, it has like a like a secret weapon. <laughs> a secret weapon? It's a secret weapon. It's like a secret room. Yeah. Almost. So let's go ahead and uh, head in here. Uh, before we go in, yes, this one is expensive. Yes, it is. But we are looking at floor plans. Mm -hmm. We are not looking at specific coaches because we still have about four or five months to actually pick one out before right. we are out of our house and we like to look at as many things as we can yes. so we know what options are available yep. what kind of floor plans we're yep. looking for so yep. this is not going to be like the one we buy right and because pretty soon <laughs> we're going to be out of them nearby yes like we're not in central florida where there's three thousand class a's <laughs> to go look at we're almost out of class a's in this area yeah so then we're going to have to be looking online so we want to look at as many floor plans and options and configurations and dealers and manufacturers all and all that we want to look at as many of those as we can in person because we know we're gonna have to shop online quite soon yes so all that being said Newmar Baystar 3414 I think it's a 2019 it's brand new I think he said uh, Bob has been working with us he's Bob is he's awesome amazing. come see Bob if you're in the area yeah, right. um, but uh, I think he said it's left over from last year mm -hmm. so let's go check it out this one has a lot of steps to get up oh does it uh, oh yeah it does yeah there's only two or one but this is yeah three. And uh, it's actually, it, does, it seems taller for uh, gas because uh, it is a V10. Yep. Um, it is not a diesel pusher. So first off, no bed over the cab. Bed over the cab, but. But just hold on. Uh, and also this one's plugged in. Bob fired it up for us, so it's Yay! beautiful. I have a brand new light on the camera and I don't even need it. Uh, so let's just kind of work from the front back. So we've got our normal seats here, right? But they turn around, oh, oh. What? There's no, what is this? Oh, okay. So this one has a little table that flips over like, like that. Desk. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's like a desk. I kind of like the, the, the on flippy ones in the front. On TV up here, a couple cabinets up there as well. Auto leveling, all that fun stuff. Uh, and then we work our way back. There's a couch over here on this side. Electric fireplace with a Bose sound bar. There's a televator in here and the power's on, so let's go ahead and open that up. Um, How do I do it? I don't know. Drawer. Wow. I saw a switch for it somewhere. Oh, it's up here. Wait a minute. You'd be sitting here to watch TV. Here we go. There it is. Here we go. Televator up. Voila! Ow. Maybe. <laughs> oh, it's moving. Oh, it's, it's just, just it's a one. click. All right, we found it. Here we go. <laughs> look at that, Ben. Ben, look at that. Okay. There we go. It's up all the way. That's a that's a good size screen. It is a nice so, size screen. So, Ben, let's show us Prime Prime yeah, TV it's watching. Okay, Here, so this let's could sit on the bottom and watch. This could potentially be a problem because the buttons are right there within easy reach of a child. You can watch TV here, right? So it's got lights for up here, lights for here, and then oh, I like this accent lighting up yeah, here. Yeah, that's real nice. It's pretty. That'd be nice in the evening. Yep. Okay. So couch, super teeny tiny little like just a two seat dinette. That actually slides out. It's the table. There's still only two chairs though. Maybe. Maybe? You think there's a chair hiding somewhere? I think there's chairs <laughs> hiding somewhere. Because uh -huh. this opens up. Okay, it's got a leaf in it. Yeah. Uh, so there's a small like kind of single wide residential fridge over here. Plenty big. Uh, it's plenty big. Yeah, I think, but for that size, I think I'd rather have the dual fuel. Like the propane and electric oh, yeah just just because i like the idea of being able to keep it running without a generator going oh, yeah um, okay so further back here we have a really large nice whirlpool convection microwave you just pull the right side there you go oh my it is really big yep that's big and then we've got just a propane cooktop underneath very nice a uh, hard counter uh, surface here watch yeah. fingers fingers fingers. fingers and no oven no oven which we like lovely thumbs up very good. Just nice big drawers. So then in this kitchen, it's got kind of a weird little like peninsula thing. 
Nice cupboard sink. Mm -hmm. Wish it had a gooseneck. <laughs> I'd rather have gooseneck and sprayer. That's just me. Uh, but it's got this little like notch cut out, so I guess that slide comes in probably to there-ish. Mm -hmm. Cabinets everywhere, lights everywhere. Though I love the lighting in here. It's very nice. Yeah. The even though overhead lights aren't very harsh. I love the accent lighting. Uh, so there's uh, what is this? Oh, just a little. Okay. Yeah, just it's very skinny. Um, and this is where things start to get kind of weird. Yeah, this is very different. Yeah, this is not, I would not call this a family friendly coach. Mommy, this is so cool. Yep, we're gonna come through. So, so there's, there's like a dual sink. Dual sink. Nice. I mean, this is very there nice. There are two sinks. There are two sinks. Look at all these drawers. Lots of little drawers to put things. And then the under cabinet storage is pretty deep mm -hmm. as well. There's. I'm not in. Okay, they're very tight they're so very I don't tight. come open. Yeah, Watch fingers. Here. Fingers, fingers. Come here, let's go. Let's show okay. Daddy into the bedroom. Go check out the bed. And then there's a skinny linen cabinet here, but you could like roll your towels and put them in. Yeah. And then the shower's here. So I'm kind of, that's the front of the rig. So I kind of have done like a 180. Shower's here. It's kind of a normal size. And then the toilet is here. So you're basically, you have the one full bath here in the middle that you have to go through to get into the bedroom. This also has an escape door. Um, you gotta do that handle and there's a lock and then there's a ladder that drops out of the bottom of that door. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So I guess if there was anything wrong with the front of the coach, you could this get out this go. way. That is also an emergency exit window right there. Um, but it's kind of high and you might have to go ahead first. So interesting option. Mm -hmm. I think I wouldn't mess with the ladder. I would just door open and jump out. Right. But, uh, so then the bedroom looks like a queen. It is a queen. It's a little small in here. Um, not a lot of room for CPAP. I don't even know if your CPAP might fit up there with it turned sideways. Yeah. Um, but these are not very deep. Daddy. Oh, it would fit. No problem. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then this. Oh, Ben's turning the lights off. So that's the accent light. Yeah. So then this is the slide here and the bed tucks up underneath here. Yeah. Turn it on, buddy. Turn the light on, bud. It's kind of dark. There we go. Huge. Huge closet again. So big huge, storage in there. Like this is what you just where you're gonna live in the yeah, right? yeah. huge cabinet. Nice big window. Like huge window in the back. Yeah. Little window on the little shelf here. And then windows mm -hmm. on either side of the bed head, which I like. Not lots of natural light up in here. The this is a new Mar. Mm -hmm. And Bob was saying that they make everything in house. And so the the quality of the cabinets is really nice. Oh, yeah. The doors slide very nicely. Yeah, everything, everything is pretty high quality. Yeah, Look at everything your is, little nook. Has felt very nice. <laughs> um, and there's a mirror on the back side of this door. So when you close it, nice. you can stand here and see. So um, so let's uh, let's talk about our secret weapon here. Uh, this is not something specific to this coach, but this is the first time that we've seen this. This is not just a couch. So that is really, really cool. What do you think, buddy? And this top bunk will hold 300 pounds. Yep. And then the bottom, I guess, probably doesn't really have a limit down there. So. Right. So this is a, uh, it's really cool. And it. obviously this is not built into the coach at all. It's, it appears to just be a flex steel unit of some sort. Um, so, th but this is why we come and look at things, right? Because I would not have known that this couch was an option. Mm -hmm. I just saw the photos on the website and I was like, holy cow, look at that. So, so different. So now we know about this. So maybe as we're looking at these other rigs, they might have a couch that's not comfortable or it needs to be replaced anyway, or it just might be nice to have an extra sleeping location mm -hmm. or something like that. So now that we know that this exists, I have no idea how much it costs, um, <laughs> but we know it exists. It, right. it is an option. It's very, very cool. I don't know if I'm really... Not a huge fan of the rest of this floor plan. It's different. It, it's different. This is definitely a retired couple or just a couple floor plan. Yeah, great. Because it's got the, yeah. the single full bath in the middle, which kind of blocks everything off. And then there's no, there's not a lot of dining area over here. Mm -mm. Uh, and obviously there's no bed loft over here. So very, very nice coach. Not for us, but this couch is awesome. Can you help us close it out? Can you say bye to other people? Bye. <laughs> you say, we'll see you later. Can you, can you look in the camera and say, we'll see you in the next video? Look right there. You ready? It is a big circle. Say, thanks for watching, guys. Say, we'll see you in the next video. <laughs>
Yeah. We'll work on them. Yeah. We're looking at it today here at Trans West, Trans West in, in Fountain. Fountain, Colorado. Yep. Very cool place. Come say hi to Bob. Yeah. Super nice guy. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.